for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, Easy Mutt. Use code VENOM at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's up, guys? What I'm Fire here, back with the video, and today we're going to be hopping into another gameplay in Madden 21. Today we're going to be running a unique formation. We're going to be running the pistol spread on offense. It's a formation that I talked about earlier in the year. I actually did run this a good amount in Madden 20. Um, but this is a nice little QB run scheme. So of course you want a mobile quarterback like Lamar. We're going to be using the Cardinals with Kyler, but it's going to be in the Ravens playbook. I think it's also in pistol playbook. Maybe some other one, but I'm not sure. But Baltimore, 4-6. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much it. So hopefully it's just a little fun scheme. Try not to take the game too seriously. Mess around, try to make some cool plays. Stuff like that. You don't really need any QB abilities to run this as well since it is technically a read option that we're going to be using. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead hop straight into the game. All right, here we are out on the field. The first thing I'm going to do is go on conservative because it is a heavy run formation, especially with the quarterback. you got to go on conservative to pretty much prevent that from happening. Now, spread formation, which means you can get four wide receivers. I'm, of course, going to try and get the most speed on the field with guys like Andy Isabella. Fitzgerald, I might even switch him out for Sherfield here just so we can have some speed because Fitzgerald, of course, does not really have much speed uh, as far as that's concerned. But here's a look at our audibles. We're going to go with read option, zone alert bubble, Y shallow cross, and PA deep in. There are some other good plays that we might talk about. There's a nice little jet pass, um, things like that. Of course, four verticals. So we do have some other plays that we'll be running. One of the biggest reasons that this formation is good is because it's symmetrical. So you can, of course, flip it. Looks like our opponent using the Packers, so he does have inside stuff, which could be a little bit of a concern. Um, feel like we always go against the Packers, but we're just going to try out the run here. Feel him out a bit. Pick up a decent gain of around five yards. Just a feel out play. He's going to stay in this like dollar one, four, six type formation. We should be able to run the ball a good amount. All right, hopping into our first pass. We're going to curl X, slant Y, smoke screen B. Um, looks like he actually is using the D line accidentally here. And you see we got Andy Isabella, nice little slant route, make the play. And you see we already ended up getting out of that first and 15. We're going to go to the read option. I might also try and mix in some motion since it's zone coverage. Uh, now you see when we motioned over, we actually don't have a read, which means I should be able to keep this traditionally with Kyler Murray and just pick up a big game with him. Uh, we would have had a big game. Unfortunately, we just get shedded. Very unlucky there. Here's another setup out of this PA deep in play. And this is usually my go-to um, pretty much out of this play. But we're just going to go ahead, dual curls, drag, post route in the middle. Uh, just to see what he's actually on about here. We're going to roll out, hit Andy Isabel on his little drag route. He's playing very far over the top, so I will continue to throw underneath if that's going to be the case. Also dropping a lot of man in coverage, so um, might even think about sending Kenyon Drake actually out on routes potentially. But we're going to go to the read option again. Uh, you see he's going to send the house here. Nice little stick work there to get out. And looks like he's not going to click on, so we're going to have to slide. Very important when you're scrambling with your quarterback, you're already using stamina. If you take a big hit, you're going to be, you know, even you're going to be in the red. And right now, you see my stamina is actually still in the light blue. So that's something important. If you notice your opponent's not clicked on, make sure you don't try to juke him out um, and just slide, get on the ground, take your yardage. All right, here we're going to go to PA deep in. I'm going to try and hit Kenny and Drake on his wheel route. That's actually pretty good against zone coverage when you run it to this side. Um, of course, we have Isabella. Kirk on a little hitch just to feel him out. Looks like he is going to be using the D line here. We're just going to low ball it to Kenyon Drake. That was actually a terrible pass. He had a meant to pass it inside. Um, but we should pick up the first down. Also had the out route open early. So that's something that I noticed and that I might be able to go to. But you see, when you're running the ball this much, ball control is, of course, a factor. We've already burned the entire first quarter, which should be five minutes, five minute quarters. Of course, the play clock's longer, but. Still pretty impressive to do that, and we'll take off some more clock in the red zone. Now, since it is four verts, or since I noticed he's in a lot of cover three, I might honestly just try to beat him with this stock four verticals play. I'm just going to throw Kurt Drake on a little option. Of course, we have nothing open. We can throw the ball out, scramble with Kyler Murray, but I want to see if I can just maybe fit something open here. Doesn't look like we have much, so we're just take off with Kyler, pick up a couple yards, and get down on the ground. Looks like he did opt to stay in this heavier set as well. So we'll see how well we can run the ball. This looks like some heavy pressed man coverage. So I might honestly potentially go for a pass here. We're going to go with something like this. Um, curl B, slant A. I do believe this is man coverage and it is. Looks like we have Isabella there on the post route. He's got so much speed that he's able to beat Kevin King. 
and get him into the end zone. Of course, we distract the user with that slant route underneath. Very easy tell that he was in man coverage. Uh, and we're able to take advantage, go up 7-0 on our first drive. Now you guys know the drill offensive gameplay, not gonna show you know a whole lot um, defensively, but we will try and just shoot this gap here, bad stick on defense, and he actually ends up hitting a nice juke to the outside. Please tell me we can actually make a tackle. That would be pretty terrible if we could not. Thankfully, we end up making the tackle, but um, pretty unlucky. I guess that was bad stick work. I couldn't get my full setup off, but um, yeah, just terrible defense. At the minimum, this is at least going to guarantee us the last crack at the final drive of this quarter, which I guess is not the worst thing in the world. He's going to go with like this little RPO weird pass. We're all over it. Going to defend the spot route. He's going to throw it deep into coverage, and that's got to be an interception. Unlucky. I swear those types of animations happen just all the time to me, but I'll throw it in coverage once and it'll be guaranteed to get intercepted. Now, one thing I got to do is he's moving Bakhtiari to the right tackle. I got to move Chandler Jones off that spot. He's just going to check it down, make an easy tackle, and we're in fourth down. But pretty much what I'm going to do um, on our next possession is move Chandler Jones actually to the left side so that he's not matched up with his best offensive tackle. Uh, we're just going to play standard. Cover three Mabel. He's going with this hurry up offense. Hopefully we can end up making the stop here. He's actually going to go to the air, max protection, and go with the delay fade. He's going to be short, and we will take over on downs. Not the best play design. Looks like that was a intended delay fade the entire way, and I was all over it. We're going to try and go to the zone bubble. Now, be careful when you're running it to this right side, and you see A or X on PlayStation as your intended receiver, that you don't just hold A to hand the ball off. I believe if I just let the ball go, it should be handed off. Kenny Clark actually instant sheds us, but thankfully we're able to just run past him. And you see that zone's pretty good. Um, it's a standard just handoff out of a pistol. And it's one of the best runs out of pistol. I'm going to go back to this same route combo with this little wheel route, hitch route combo out of this PA deep in. Uh, we're going to have Kenyon Drake again. And whew, I have that quick job, but unfortunately couldn't get the ball off there. That's wild. I'm pretty shocked that he could not get that ball out right there. Um, pretty unfortunate, but we're just going to go... Um, with some pretty stock play design, I think I'm just going to drag X, um, block RB, something like this. I'm going to try and actually hit Christian Kirk here. He's going to be using that player right here. So we're just going to kind of feel around here. And looks like I'm just going to chuck it deep to Y. And bad play by me. I was kind of forced out of the left side. So that was a bad drive. Let's delay fade all the way. We have that bag. He's going to throw it deep into coverage. And there we go, Pat Pete able to pick it off as we just keep running into everybody don't we but 10 seconds left see if we can do anything but thankfully we end up holding them off and we will go to the half up seven to zero all right boys we've been playing kind of the way you want to when you're running something like this just play the ball control um you know play good defense and that's what we're doing looks like you might be trying to run the ball here which um is not an issue for us we want to kind of force them into this game where we end up getting the last drive stuff like that um, but again, type of game we want, we're playing well. All right, boys, let's see if we can make a stop. He's going to go delay fade here, and wow, I can't believe that crosser actually got open. I have 20-yard curl flats, which should have defended that, but not sure how his crosser actually got over the top there. All right, boys, we should have this Rundy bagged out of this or defended well if he's going to try and go to the inside zone. He's going to go to the air here. Everything is defended, and there you see my key adjustment of moving Chandler Jones to the other side. Not sure why he has Bakhtiari at that actual spot, but... I mean, it is what it is. We're just going to send our three-man rush. Um, of course, we moved our curl flats up to 25. It's going to go with a little four verts action. And there you see Chandler Jones again going crazy for us. So now fourth and 18. So you guys can see just key adjustments like that can make a world of difference. What I did here is I manned up both tight ends. Everything should be locked. He's going to throw it deep into coverage. And Robert Alford is there to make the play. I'm not going to return this because, of course, offensive gameplay. So we're just going to try move it a little bit manageable, make it realistic, but we will go back on offense. Hopefully we can end up putting this guy away because of how good our defense has been, but actually it looks like he's gonna quit, unfortunately, here because we're already deep into the third quarter and it's still a 7-0 game, so hopefully you stay in it here. And there it is, unfortunately we get the quit, so I'll hop into a another game. I'll be showing very little highlights probably in it, um, mainly just offensive. Hopefully we can actually force a quick rage quit, ideally. All right, boys, here we are out in game number two. Um, of course, I hate that that guy quit, but it is what it is. We're going to try and pound this read option now. Um, I'm going to use some motion. This looks like zone coverage. I'm actually going to flip it now that I see that safety go back high. We'll see if we can actually pop off this run. He's going to end up keeping it, but this double-A gap, I like it. I feel like I can take advantage of this. 
Now, since it is game number two and that game one did last a little bit longer, we're not going to show everything from this game necessarily, but we will show some stuff, some good stuff, of course. Um, but again, defensively, not going to show every highlight, just going to show the big stuff that actually happens. But we're just going to keep pounding this rock out of this um, formation. Just make him think about the run. He's going to stay in it. It looks like he's running on a cover three base, so we should be able to throw relatively well on it. All right, we're just going to try and throw the ball here, go with a basic route combo. He's going to, again, bluff blitz, which is what I was kind of expecting here. Low ball, this slant, and there we go. Nice possession catch by Kirk, but he's in double A gap, but he's not actually going to be blitzing, it looks like. That was some nice man coverage mix up, but uh, we should be good as long as he's not blitzing. Here we go. Nice little run there by Kenyon Drake. And you see, we're just going to stick with it, try out new stuff. That time we used motion and, you know, Double A gap, not good against the run, so we should be able to continue to run this ball. Of course, what this guy did, he's on option court, option defense conservative permanently, so we're not going to be able to really keep it with Kaiwa this game. This looks like man coverage since he did shadow over, um, so I should have a big hole just up the middle there with Kenyon Drake, but you see, just pounding the rock up the middle, keeping the clock going. Here, I'm going to hop into a new play, the jet pass. I am going to be running it to this side just because there's no extra slot corner over there. The slot corner's on the right. Uh, so we'll see if hopefully the quarterback or the corner doesn't shadow. It doesn't look like he's going to. And we should have a pretty big hole. Unfortunately, Hopkins gives up that block, but you see still big gain down to third and one. Little halfback zone. You see yet another big gain. Now, guess what our opponent's doing now? He's getting very, very aggressive. When he's getting very aggressive, he's going to be playing cover zero type of a coverage. And we can catch him off guard. Here's a combo out of this. What's it called? Shallow cross, slant A, drag Y. Gonna block, I believe he's gonna be sending six. Nice actually bluff blitz, he caught me off guard with that for sure. But he's gonna send the spy way too early. And with escape artist and Kyler Murray, we're gonna be able to almost pick up that first down. Again, we end up taking the entire quarter, gonna run the ball again, and this time we are gonna be into the end zone. But you see how there's such a big play potential when you're stacking six men on the line of scrimmage, not only in the passing game, but there in the running game. All we need is our box to hold up and we should be gone for TDs against this defense. There we go, end up picking up that pick. This dude tries to throw it in coverage, and honestly, um, he's running no huddle, playing like a toxic bum, and we end up taking advantage there, getting that interception. Now I'll tell you what, honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna show the full game in this. I might just end up showing this possession as the last one. I don't really even wanna play the full game against this guy since he's playing just like a complete weirdo. Uh, you see, look, look what he's doing with his user, but uh, I'm just gonna try and go deep with Hopkins, beat him off the press, slant, just some basic route combinations. Go with this route combo, see what we can get going. He is running man coverage as predicted, it looks like. And there we go, Andy Isabella. You saw that first drive, I ran the ball a lot. Uh, so we might try and throw a little bit more here. But going back to what I was saying, A, I don't want the video to be 20, 25 minutes. And B, um, this is obviously this guy's playing weird and I don't really want to play him that badly, but we're just gonna run the ball, end up picking up some big gains here. Are we actually gone? Kenyon Drake does not have the speed to be gone. Uh, you see, but big time play right there. We're already down to the 16. Here's this route combo I'm gonna try out out of the PA deep in. Everything is hot routed. We're gonna try and hit Isabel early if his user's a little bit lackluster. And looks like we are gonna be able to, just up the seams, easy dot, easy touchdown to put ourselves up 14 to zero. As far as showing the rest of the game, if this guy keeps playing weird, I might not show any of it, but um, if we force a rage quit, of course, or get another possession for the half, I might show another drive, stuff like that. I guess you'll see what happens after this clip. All right, boys, just to send to end the video here, just because I'm not trying to put myself through a guy running no huddle, um, audible from shotgun to I form in July. Obviously I was winning the game when I quit out, but uh, I'm not going to put myself or you guys through that type of stuff. Showed enough of the offense as well. Put together some good drives. Um, in both games and of course I don't want the video to get too long for you guys So we're gonna call it quits there if you guys did enjoy make sure you go ahead smack the like button Let me know what you want to see for the rest of this year down below in the comment section subscribe to the channel Of course follow me on Twitter link will be down in the description and peace. I'm out of here